I am Chris Tamara Filippelli, and today I'm going to be doing the history of Hess trucks. So, not every single one. It's like the 10 year difference between. So, 1964, 1974, 1984, 1994, 2004, 2014, and last year's 2018. But before I start, um, I got to give two shout outs. One to one of my classmates at school, he has a YouTube channel. Uh, it's called Jake Outdoors. Um, if you go on the channels part of my YouTube channel, you, you'll see uh, the Jake Outdoors there. Uh, so go subscribe to him. And then also I subscribe to him. Uh, Louis Gonzalez, he gave me a shout out in one of his videos uh, a couple, uh, I think like a year ago. So go subscribe to him. That is also on the channel app in my YouTube channel. Uh, it'll say Louis Gonzalez. So. Um, uh, go watch his video, subscribe to his channel, and Jake Outdoors. They're both good channels. So, um, Louie does Hesh Trucks, and Jake does um, outdoor stuff like fishing and much more. So go check that out. Um, so we're going to start with the, uh, we're going to do these trucks. Um, so first, you've seen probably these many times. Um, this truck, 1964, is also the 1965, so it's the 1964 and 1965. So this one I also refer to as the 1972, but the, it, the, 70, the 1972 is the same truck as the 1974. Uh, I'll get close up in a little bit. 1984, um, the first Hesh truck to have a bank. 1994, um, this truck was actually supposed to be a tow truck, and then this year they finally made uh, their first tow truck. So basically they made kind of like a tow truck body, but instead of going with other companies like 7-Eleven and stuff, they went with, uh, they just put a ladder in and some sirens. Then 2004 is, um, has some motorcycles inside. And then 2014, the 50th anniversary of Hess, that year, and then 2018 last year. This one is four years apart, I know. I just wanted to throw that in there because there are a couple differences. So, um, yes, all these have batteries. I made sure of that, uh, or they should. Um, so first, the 1964, um, it's, as I said in my uh, last vid, um, one of my last videos with the painted one, this is really the only truck to have a full white back truck, uh, part of the truck. So, um, yeah. So, the lights, as you can imagine on this one, are the dimmest out of all of them. Uh, I'll do the light comparison too. So, this one is really dim. Um, I'll do that in a little bit, actually. 1970 or 72 uh, doesn't really matter um, because it's the same truck so it is supposed to have a smoke smokestack that is missing um, really good condition the truck and uh, you can find this for probably I don't know hmm I don't know probably between one two hundred one and two hundred bucks that one uh, if you're if you're looking for mint condition this could go for about two thousand dollars if you're looking for kind of like my condition, kind of beat up, kind of not. Uh, probably about like around a couple hundred. Um. So yeah, this 1984 one, uh, it looks very similar to the 1977 truck, but it is not. I will show you a couple of differences. So the 1977 truck is a little lighter shade of green. Um, or light, oh, good amount lighter. Uh, and then this one, the 84, has the bank. The 1977 doesn't. It has a darker Hess logo here than there. And instead of a white, or a, instead of a um, yellow, outline of the gasoline and fuel oils it's a green uh mirrors that mirror is just missing so 
yeah, and the same back here. That. Um, so there are a couple differences. And the door logos. Uh, the Hess is also in bold on the door. So. That out of there. The 1994, um, I don't know, Hess has made many fire trucks before 1994. This is, this was probably like the fourth one they made. Uh, cause they made one in 96. Yeah, about the fourth or fifth one they made. Um, the first one was the 1970. Uh, and you could check, uh, you could check out more facts in my book that I mentioned in my last video on the fifth year YouTube anniversary video. Uh, this has stabilizers to hold the truck down in place, and then the ladder goes up, it turns. So this, um, 1984 was really the first year, or not the first year, but one of the first years they started using, um, this smoother plastic on the truck. I'm not saying that these weren't smooth, it's just, um, what I should have said is, like, heavier duty plastic. Uh, nowadays the trucks are more, they're built better, but still, this is the 64, as you can see, is like really fragile. Uh, 2004, of course better than the 1994, comes with two motorcycles, uh, one green with white stripes and one white with green stripes. And then the truck is a, um, is like an off-roader, um, so yeah. So Hess's first three in one was in 1997. You could also find that in the truck in the Hess truck book on my YouTube channel. Brings you a link to Google Docs. Um, and yeah. So here's the 2014. So this is where Hess started to change more of their trucks uh, from here on out. Um, so once this goes up, so it's a three in one again. You got the mini scout. This is the Hess truck space cruiser and scout. You got the scout space cruiser, which makes uh, noises, and then the truck. Oops. Um, so there also, there's also a QR code on the bottom. I don't think that works anymore. I think that was it says it said something about it. I think it said like scan to do something. Um but it, I don't think it works anymore. I tried it with my phone, didn't work. So I think that was just for like the year 2014 if you wanted to like do something with it. Scan the truck. Um so that is the 2014. The first truck to have flashing lights, I believe, was 1980, uh, I, I just started thinking about that. I think it was 1986, maybe, was the first truck. Yeah, 1986 was the first truck to have flashing lights. Uh, so then here's the 2018, um, it's the Hess. RV with uh, ATV and motorbike. So these two mini vehicles, um, this they have LED lights. Probably the first ones beside, uh, not really, but like the first three and one to have full LED lights. So now we'll do the light comparison, like the actual truck. Lights comparison. So as you can see, 1964 is very, very dim. Oh. Hold on. Sometimes the battery just needs to be like turned around. Come on. This was working the other day. Alright. 
so this should be working. I don't know why it's not. Well, um, anyway, the 1974 is about, like, a little bit brighter than that, not much. 1984, brighter, 1994, has full lights on the truck, not just head and tail, 2004, 2014. And then the 2018. So this one would be a little brighter, but the batteries are no. So what's one main difference between 2018 than all the rest is the LED lights. Uh, those other trucks did not have LED lights. Um, and if you're wondering when I'm getting the 2019 truck, and I'll do a video on that. Um, it will be after Christmas, so today is actually December 21st, 2019. So Christmas Eve, I get the new truck. So that will be in two days, three days, I, I don't know. Well, I, the countdown is on, two days. So, can't wait. So, um, I just have one more truck that I, that will not be in the title of this. Um, this uh, video name, but it is a custom truck that I got uh, like last week. Shut on or off. Huh. Oh, now the lights decide to work. So that is the 1974 truck lights, of course. Now, when everything's all over, the lights decide to, decide to work. Just my luck, of course. Hess tow truck. So yes, this is a really cool truck. Um, it has this is completely custom made. It is the front cab of the 1991 with custom smokestacks and a complete custom back. Um, the lights on here work, but I want to get to that uh, in a couple minutes because this truck is awesome. This thing can come off. It can tow really any truck so for example let's just do the 1964 so i bought this truck on ebay for 150 dollars um you're saying wow that's a lot of money for this not really because this truck is so cool with this one feature so It goes on its own. So there's a battery switch on bottom, on the bottom, and I got it at like ten, at ten o'clock at night since it's like the busy season. I got it at like ten o'clock at night. So I opened it up and I was rolling it around and I turned on the lights. The wheels actually didn't work until the next morning. I was shocked when that happened. So here's the bottom, a complete custom made battery compartment. It takes two double A batteries, and then the and then the switch which controls the wheels and the lights. Really cool. Oh, all right. So that is really neat. And then it just goes on its own. And then it can and it can tow whatever. Um this little hook here can also tow a couple things, I think. And then the tow arm can go up and down. So it goes all the way up and all the way down. So just to show you. Um See that that little hook can even tow a truck. Um, of course, this year's truck, the 2019, is a heavier duty truck. It's like stronger and stuff. This is more fragile. This is like for display, and it's really cool. Um, in fact, last year, this same exact truck on eBay um sold for I, I forget how much, but it was like September. And then the only difference was it was a green, uh, complete green 
a uh, line with a hess sticker, not a full green or not a uh, striped green. And then it was the front of the 1990 cab, not the 1991. So the guy that bought it just made a couple cool changes. So this is a really, really neat truck. Uh, this will be in more of my videos. So that is that. And uh, one last message. Uh, since this will be my last video for 2019, I wish everybody a happy holiday and a happy new year. A uh, happy new decade, actually, for 2020. So I'm excited for that. I'll be alive my first full decade. So again, I wish everybody a happy holiday and a happy new year. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to my channel. Comment on my videos. Turn on the bell for notifications so you know when I make a new video. Uh, and be on the lookout for more videos. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to Jake Outdoors and Louis Gonzalez. And check out my Hess truck book. Uh, it is on my YouTube channel. It's a link to Google Docs. So don't forget to check that out. Uh, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.